Scarlett, if you let Sid apologize to you, you'll end up being banned from school and kicked out of Ontario. You want that? Then you better stop. You are never, and I mean, never, ever going to let him apologize to you. Randall, I just got a call from Malcolm and he said you were making his sister sad. So tell me the truth now. Did you really do it by telling her that she would never let her son apologize to her? Uh, um, yes I did. That's it. I have no choice but to tell my wife about what you did. Honey, did I just hear that Randall made Scarlett sad by telling her that she's never gonna let our son apologize to her? Yes he did. Right, that's it, I've had quite enough. I'm going to have to call Agent Henry about this situation, because I want Officer Chris to know what he did to Scarlett. I'm sorry Randall, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to deal with getting arrested by the police. Good afternoon. Who is calling me? Good afternoon Agent Henry. This is Mrs. Phillips, Sid's mother. I'm calling to tell you, because you are not going to believe what Randall did to Scarlett. Oh, and what is it? You see Agent Henry, I hate to say this but, it appears that after our son ruined Scarlett's music two weeks ago, Randall just made her sad, by telling her that she's never gonna let him apologize to her. What? Are you serious? Why in the world did Randall make Scarlett sad, by telling her that she's never gonna let your son apologize to her? He should realize that refusing people to do something is not okay. Don't worry Mrs. Phillips, I'll tell Officer Chris to arrest Randall right away. And you are right. Your son must owe Scarlett an apology for what he did to her two weeks ago. Thanks for telling me. Anytime. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Excuse me, but what did I just hear? You see Zeta. Randall refused Scarlett to let our son apologize to her, which made her sad. So I had no choice but to call Agent Henry to tell Officer Chris to arrest him. Randall, you are under arrest for refusing Scarlett to let Sid apologize to her, which made her sad. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense. If you do not mention one question, something you may rely on in court. Anything you say will be giving you evidence. Do you understand? Yes, Officer Chris, I understand. Good. And also, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. To the police car we go. It's jail time for you, which is until Christmas break. Excuse me, Officer Chris, but there is no way Randall is going to get arrested. Mom and Dad, what color was the sun after it appeared over the horizon? Sid, we're glad you asked. The sun was perfectly red, and it's getting brighter while rising. You see, I already took a picture of it. Want to see it? Um, okay. Wow! I've never seen the sun like this before. We know. So be careful. Why do I need to be careful? The reason is that nobody wants to hurt people's eyes after seeing the sun while it's so bright. You see, sunrise was at about quarter to eight. And now that your suspension is over, when you get to school, you are going to apologize to Scarlett. Yeah, and don't forget to promise her, and you must tell her that you will never ruin her music again. Yes mom and dad, I will remember. Thank you Sid. You may go back to your room until it's time to get ready for school. Excuse me Mr. and Mrs. Phillips, but didn't Zeta tell you this already on the 30th of November? She told you Sid wouldn't apologize to Scarlett. So now you are going to piss off Zeta again? Well Miss Trunchbull, just a little. But there is no way she can stop him from apologizing to her. And besides, he ruined her music the night of November 29th. That's correct. So we told him not to forget about promising her, 
and we also told him to tell her that he will never ruin her music again. All right, that's it, Mr. and Mrs. Phillips. I'm afraid I have no choice but to tell Zetar about this situation. You don't have to tell me, Miss Trunchbull. I heard them loud and clear. They just told Sid to apologize to Scarlet. You can go back now. Okay, Zeta. Oh, great. Here we go again, dealing with Zeta. I know, honey. This isn't going to be good. That's right. It's Zeta again. What have I told you on November 30th? Uh, Sid is not going to apologize to Scarlet. Correct. So why did you tell him to do it? It's because he ruined her music the night of November 29th. Yeah. So he must not forget about promising her, and he must tell her that he will never ruin her music again. And what is Mr. Morris doing here? Zeta, did Mr. and Mrs. Phillips get on your nerves again? Yes, they did Mr. Morris. And I can't deal with them anymore. I'm done. I'm going to my lair to calm me down. Ah, we did it again. I know, this is just unacceptable. Yep, you got that right. Zeta specifically told you on November 30th not to let your son apologize to Scarlet. Well, we are sorry, but he's going to apologize to Scarlet, and that's it. And he also needs to promise her, and tell her that he will never ruin her music again. So mom, when Sid gets to school, he must apologize to my sister Scarlett. That's correct Malcolm, and he must not forget about promising her, and he must also tell her that he will never ruin her music again. Guess what Dr. Brad? The sun was perfectly red, and my mom already took a picture of it. So she told me to see it, and I was surprised. I've never seen it like this before. Neither have I Sid. Now, when Scarlet arrives, apologize to her, promise her, and tell her that you will never ruin her music again, understand? Yes, Dr. Brad, I understand. Scarlet? I need to owe you an apology. I'm sorry for unplugging your keyboard and killing the battery. I promise I will never ruin your music again. Sid, I'm glad you'll never mess up my music again, and I know you didn't like it, so your apology is accepted. I have to agree with Scarlet. Now Sid, listen to me. If you still hate her music, just leave her keyboard alone instead of unplugging it and killing the battery. The reason is that it can make her sad. Do you think you can do that? Of course Dr. Brad, I think I'll try something else. And you are right. Unplugging her keyboard and killing the battery doesn't make her happy. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Scarlet already accepted Sid's apology, just because he said sorry to her, promised her, and told her that he would never ruin her music again? Well, that's it. I've had enough. I'll tell Mr. Morris, Miss Trunchbull, and Karen to have a word with her when she gets home from school and then I'll go back to my lair to call Mr. Kuak to call Lee to send her to Arviat. And also, I will call the headmaster to ban her from school. I'm so sick of Scarlet, for good. Guys, you are not going to believe what Scarlet did. Oh no, please don't tell us it's true. I'm afraid it is. You see, Scarlet accepted Sid's apology, just because he said sorry to her, promised her, and told her that he would never ruin her music again. She did what? Oh, for crying out loud. How dare Scarlet do this? She needs to be sent to Aviat Bailey for accepting Sid's apology. I have to agree with that. Yeah, I know, and that's why we are having a word with her right now. Oh my god, mom, I think Zeta, Mr. Morris, Miss Trunchbull, and Karen are going to confront my sister. Can you please follow me to Smithy's factory house? Oh my gosh, yes Malcolm, we'll go to Smithy's factory house. Oh no, this isn't going to be good. No dad, it isn't.
guys, why do you look so angry? Scarlet, we are angry is because you accepted Sid's apology. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. I accepted his apology, because he said sorry to me, promised me, and told me that he would never ruin my music again. Yep, we thought so. So just for that, you are now banned from school and kicked out of Ontario for accepting Sid's apology. No, Scarlet is my sister. I agree with my son, and she is also my daughter. Nope. She is no longer a part of your family anymore. So yeah little girl, my husband, my precious daughter, and I are going to get your suitcase ready, so we can go to your room and pack everything up in it. Then, we can call Air Canada van to come and take it to the plane called WestJet. And finally, on your thermostat, we can turn the heater down to 45 degrees Fahrenheit and turn the air conditioner up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right Scarlet. So I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have no choice but to go back to my lair to call Mr. Kuak to call Lee to send you to Arviat, and I'm also going to have to call the principal to ban you from school. Hello, this is Mr. Kuak speaking. Who is calling me? Hi Mr. Kuak. You are not going to believe what Scarlet did. Okay then, what did she do? You see? She accepted Sid's apology, just because he said sorry to her, promised her, and told her that he would never ruin her music again. She was supposed to deny it, not accept it. What? Are you kidding me right now? How dare Scarlett do this? She should know she was supposed to deny Sid's apology, not accept it. Don't worry, I'll call Lee to send it to Arviat right away. Thank you. Bye. Hello, who is this? Hi Mr. Klutz, Mrs. Jaffe, and Dr. Brad. I need to tell you something about Scarlet. Well, what did she do? I'm glad you asked. You see, she accepted Sid's apology, just because he said sorry to her, promised her, and told her that he would never ruin her music again. Well Zeta, this morning I told Sid to apologize to Scarlet, promise and tell her that he would never mess up her music again so she could accept his apology. Yep, I thought so. So please do me a favor and ban her from school. No, we are not going to ban her from school. Yes. You are. Come on Zeta, you know the answer. And besides, Scarlet did the right thing, cause Sid said sorry to her, promised her, and told her that he would never ruin her music again. I don't care about that. Seriously, I am not going to repeat this over and over again. Ban her from school, and that's final. Also, Karen and her family will turn the heater down to 45 degrees Fahrenheit on her thermostat and turn up the air conditioner to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Excuse us Zeta, but Scarlett always needs a furnace on to heat her up in the winter months, and she always needs the air conditioning on to cool her down in the summer months. That's correct. So the heater of her thermostat must remain at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the air conditioner must remain at 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are not going to repeat this again. The reason we are not going to ban Scarlett from school is because she did nothing wrong. Guys, for the last time, the reason you have to ban her from school is because she accepted Sid's apology. And it's also because he said sorry to her, promised her and told her that he would never ruin her music again. Well. We're still not going to ban her from school, okay? So goodbye. Okay, listen to me Lee. Scarlet was supposed to deny Sid's apology, not accept it. So I'm going to have to tell you one more time and then I want you to do everything I say. So first, send her to Winnipeg. Second, send her to Rankin Inlet. Third, send her to Arviat. Fourth, Leave Nunavut and return to Manitoba. Last, leave Manitoba and return to Ontario. Okay? Mr. Kuliak, how many times do I have to tell you? I am not going to send Scarlet to Arviat, and that is a capital final. All right, Lee. Now I am going to have to tell you for absolutely the last time and then I want you to do everything right. Because Scarlet just accepted Sid's apology. So first, send her to Winnipeg. Second, send her to Rankin Inlet. Third, 
send her to Arviat, fourth, leave Nunavut and return to Manitoba, last, leave Manitoba and return to Ontario, because I think she will stay there until summer break, so you can send her back to Ontario, okay? Mr. Kuliak, I said no, so bye. I better call Zeta about this situation. So Mr. Kulak, did you call Lee to send Scarlet to Arvid? Yes, but she didn't listen. What, the, heck? That's right, you see, I tried to make her do as I say, but it didn't work. So I'm afraid I must leave, goodbye. Okay, that's it. I've had quite enough of Lee refusing to listen to Mr. Kulak. I'm going to have to call the police to arrest her so she can stay in jail until after the weekend. Freeze. Stay right there. Lee, you are under arrest for refusing to listen to Mr. Kuak after he told you to send Scarlet to Arviat. Come with me to the police car now, because I think you will stay in jail for the rest of the weekend. So Sid, did Scarlet accept your apology? Yes mom and dad, she did. That's good to hear that. But like Dr. Brad said, if you still hate her music, just leave her keyboard alone instead of unplugging it and killing the battery. It's because it will make her sad. Yes, I'll try something else. That's what we wanted to hear. Uh, Mom and Dad, where's Randall? Don't worry, Hannah. He's in jail until Christmas break. See, we already called Santa to put everyone on the green team on the naughty list for trying to punish Malcolm and Scarlet for doing nothing wrong. Yeah. And Santa already put Karen, her entitled crew, and her family on the naughty list. The reason is that they try to set the thermostats for two little kids to the wrong temperature. Oh my goodness. Thankfully they failed. Absolutely. You may go to your room. Uh, Mom and Dad, I think it's Karen McCarrenson. Great, here we go, dealing with that entitled Karen. Thanks for telling us, Sid. You may go back to your room. That's right, it's me, Karen. Now what did I just hear? <laughs> We have no idea what you are talking about. I heard you two telling your daughter about me, my entitled crew, my family, and all my friends on the green team being put on Santa's naughty list. Is that correct? Absolutely. The reason everyone on the green team is on Santa's naughty list is because they tried to punish Malcolm and Scarlet for doing nothing wrong. Also, the reason you guys are on Santa's naughty list is because you tried to set their thermostats to the wrong temperature. That is correct. Now, listen to our words. They still need the furnace on to heat them up in the winter months, and they still need the AC on to cool them down in the summer months. So, on Malcolm's thermostat, the heater remains at 20 degrees Celsius and the air conditioner remains at 26 degrees Celsius. And, on Scarlet's thermostat, the heater stays at 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the air conditioner stays at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. One more thing, when it's bedtime, they can turn the heater down and turn the air conditioner up on their thermostats. Oh. So what will they be? We are glad you asked. On Malcolm's thermostat, the heater will be at 18 degrees Celsius, and the air conditioner will be at 28 degrees Celsius. And on Scarlet's thermostat, the heater will be at 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and the air conditioner will be at 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I get it. But I don't want Santa to put us on the naughty list. Nope, it's already too late for that. I don't care. Now call Santa to take us off the naughty list, because we don't deserve it. Come on, we're not gonna call Santa to do that. Seriously, Karen, we're not going to tell you again. After what he did to you, you're entitled to crew, 
and your family is deserved for trying to set Malcolm and Scarlet's thermostats to the wrong temperature. Plus, after what he did to all your friends and the green team is deserved for trying to punish them for doing nothing wrong. All right, you two, stop it, that is enough. We are not gonna be put on Samtha's naughty list, and that's that. So, like I said, call Santa to take us off the naughty list, and that's it. Also, call Santa to put these two little kids on the naughty list, because they did all this to my friends on the green team on purpose. Come on Karen, for the last time, Malcolm and Scarlett had the right to do that, because you and all your friends deserve to be on Santa's naughty list for doing all kinds of bad things. What the, no, we are not going through this again. Please, just stop it already. How many times do I have to tell you? Call Santa to take us off the naughty list, and call him to put these two little kids on the naughty list now. For goodness sakes Karen, stop it right now. We are not doing this again for crying out loud. We're not going to call Santa to take you and your friends off the naughty list, and call him to put these two little kids on the naughty list, and that's the end of it. Now, we're not gonna repeat this again. Deal with being put on Santa's naughty list right this instant. Alright, fine. That's what we wanted to hear. So yeah, this will teach everybody on the green team, including Karen, her entitled crew, and her family, a lesson for doing all kinds of bad things, like trying to punish Malcolm and Scarlett for doing nothing wrong and trying to set their thermostats to the wrong temperature. So Karen, how did it go? Zeta, two people didn't want to call Santa to take us off the naughty list, just because we did some horrible things in the past. Also, they didn't call Santa to put these two little kids on the naughty list, just because they did to us on purpose. Wait, what? Oh, for crying out loud. Why in the world did Mr. and Mrs. Phillips not call Santa to take us off the naughty list? And how dare they not call him to put Malcolm and Scarlett on the naughty list? I'm going to have a word with them right now. That's a good idea, Zeta. Besides, Mr. and Mrs. Phillips were supposed to call Santa to take us off the naughty list, and call him to put Malcolm and Scarlett on the naughty list. Oh, here we go again. I know. And we do not know how many times we are dealing with Zeta. That's correct. Karen just informed me that you two didn't want to call Santa to take us off the naughty list, and call him to put Scarlett and Malcolm on the naughty list. Is this true? Yes, Zeta, it's true. The reason we decided not to call Santa to do that is because Malcolm and Scarlett didn't do anything wrong. And it's also because you and your friends have done all kinds of bad things. Yep, I thought so. So now I won't ask you again. Call Santa to take us off the naughty list, and call him to put Malcolm and Scarlett on the naughty list. Why? It's because they just did to me and all my friends on purpose. Do it, right, now. What the, no, not that again, we are not going to repeat this over and over again. Zeta, like we told Karen before, we are not gonna call Santa to take you and your friends off the naughty list and call him to put Malcolm and Scarlett on the naughty list, and that's final. Mr. and Mrs. Phillips, last warning. Call Santa to take us off the naughty list because we don't deserve it. Also, the reason you have to call Santa to put Malcolm and Scarlett on the naughty list is because he brought her keyboard to school the morning on November 30th, which was against the school rules. And it's also because she accepted your son's apology this morning. So, either you do that right now, or I will call Santa myself. Your choice. How about no? We are not gonna call Santa to take you and your friends off the naughty list and call him to put Malcolm and Scarlett on the naughty list, and that's the end of it. Besides, he did the right thing by bringing his sister's keyboard to school the morning on November 30th. Cause our son ruined her music the night on November 29th. And also, she did the right thing by accepting our son's apology, cause he said sorry to her, promised her, and told her that he would never ruin her music again. Right. You two have lost your privileges. I'm going to have to call Santa, 
all by myself. Oh, great. It looks like Zeta didn't care. I know. This is just unacceptable.